Hey everyone, it's a Crafty Chris here, back with another video. And, Bubba, our old man, he is doing so much better. He acts like nothing even happened last Friday. We're still kind of amazed that he's still alive because we figured Saturday, last Saturday we would wake up and we'd be digging a hole. But as you can see, he's still here, he's still kicking, he's eating, he's going to the bathroom, he's drinking. So yeah, he's still here, huh? You want some goodie treats? Alright, a little pull. Sorry about my chair making noise. I know. Alright. Get your kitty treats. I figured he's 18. Nothing's gonna hurt him now. Okay. So, I have a couple finished objects today. And I started a lot of new whips. Because last week, I didn't have any new whips. And before I get started, I definitely want to apologize for rushing off of my last, um, I think it was my regular videos. I do apologize. Um, I did not mean to rush off like I did. And I want to thank everybody again for their nice comments about my cat. About my kid, because he is my oldest. If you watch my shows... You will know that. So we're going to start with finished objects like we usually do. So this is, as you should know, my favorite shawl pattern. And this is out of the Barcelona. I do not remember the colorway. It has a lot of green and a lot of blue in it. And... I was working on this in the hospital because we had to scare with my cat and then Saturday my great grandfather was put in the hospital for pneumonia and he has a lot of fluid around his heart and his lungs. So he's been in the hospital since Saturday. So, um, so yeah, I just finished this one today. This is the yarn I got from Michaels. If I can find the thing. And he wants out, which I have my door open, so it's not that bad. I think I got it from my place. Yeah. Pretty sure. It's not a lot, Bobby. Oh, good. It just takes some um, a lot longer. Okay, apparently it is not in this pile. But anyway, it is the Lion Brand Big Scoop. And it's this one. I really am starting to... I remember, I know I saved them, I just don't know where I put them. But I just made a granny rectangle. Now, I have to ask you guys some suggestions because I am kind of getting tired of doing rectangle and square blankets. I am thinking about doing a circle because... This next blanket, if you watch my, I think, second crochet with me, you will have seen this blanket. This is the Mandala in the color Sprite. And I just paired it with the baby yarn that from Walmart in the white colorway. I think I got like three of those, three of those on the skeins. And I'm probably going to have to get more because I really like how this turned out. It's just... <laughs> I 
I'm getting tired of doing rectangles and squares and triangles. I want to do circles. I want to do hexagons. And every hexagon pattern I've ever tried ends up crinkling. And I don't know if it's because when I do my clusters, I do three cluster, uh, three double crochets, chain two, and three more. I don't know if I would knock one of them off and do two double crochets instead of three double crochets, if that would work or not. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Because I really want to get away from the crank or the rectangle and the um, square blankets because I've made so many of them now that I'm just like, please let me do another shape. Let me figure out another shape that I can do. Okay. Now we are moving on to my whips. So this week, actually yesterday, I started a loom knit hat on my new looms. And I am doing the figure eight stitch. I love this stitch. Now, I'm going to try to put it on, but I have my hair in a bun, so. Okay. Now, if this was for me, which it's not going to be, because I do everything for charity, that's going to make a nice hat, I think. I'm using the 8 stitch, and I forget which how many pegs this is. Oh, I did have the paper, but I think I threw it away. Okay, can I count? 1, 2, 72. I really should write that down on the bottom of this case because I'm going to do more. Okay, that's not doing very good. That's not doing very good. I had markers here. Sharpies. I had two Sharpies. I keep one in my DVD player so that I, because I always buy vault or like bundles of movies so I'm always buying so I always mark off the ones that the movies that I do so where does it start again must be this way yeah well first of all okay then I'm gonna lay that over there to dry but I had like three more or four markers and Somehow they seem to have all disappeared except for one of them, which I keep in this case. So, I'm actually going to have to find that. So, this mess is um, one of my Burnett Pops. I think it's um, Blaze Blue or Blue Blaze or something like that. But I have gotten, I am now at the second color. And then I have this color and then like a little bit lighter of that color. Um, so I'm planning on making hats with a lot of my, because I have a lot of Burnett Pop. A lot of Burnett Pop cakes, so I'm going to try to make hats out of them. And then I have a couple... Um, basically, I want to make a lot of hats loom knitted hats because I like my crochet hats but I like my loom hats a little bit more so I got back into loom knitting because I go through phases like I'll loom knit for a while and then I won't then I'll just crochet then I'll read for like six months several books and then I won't pick up another book for six months so as reading goes I am still reading the same books because I only read a couple of pages at a time. 
but I am still reading the same book that I started back before Christmas because I've done more crocheting than and so one of these days I will finish those books my second blanket is with the lemon twist big scoop ice cream yarn and as you can see it's another rectangle the only thing I am doing going to do different with this one is I am not going to put white with it. I put white with that one because I thought I was going to run out of yarn. Turns out I wasn't going to run out of yarn. I think this would have taken the place of the four, one, two, three, four, the five white rows that I did. So I'm doing a test. And I'm just going to hopefully use up this whole skein. So, so far, it is this big. And I'm just going, it's a, you know, rectangle granny. So, I am, hopefully, you, you YouTubers can give me some advice on maybe the next or another shape that I can do. I would love, love to do either a circle, granny, or um, maybe even just like start it out like I do a hat and, you know, increase, increase, increase. But I have no idea and that just fell on the floor. Then my third whip is in this bag and it is more baby yarn but this is going to be a wrap which is the reason why it is so long so I'm gonna hopefully fold it in half and that'll tell you how big it's gonna be so this right here is kinda of folded in half and it's gonna you know be able to it could be a scarf, but I have five, so it'll be like a wrap. I do not wear wraps. I don't know how to put them on, but you get the idea. So I have five skeins of this. I still have four left. Well, technically three and a half. But it is this yarn that I got for a baby blanket. And, um... It's been in my stash for quite a while, and I want to use it up so bad. And my final whip is a blanket that I started. Oh, I'm not attached. I thought I was. So, I, you know that I love Fiber Flux's videos. So, I got on there the other day, actually before I went to my mom's, and picked a stitch picked one of her um, wraps or shawls or whatever and just did more chains than she called for. So this is from the Lake House wrap right here. And this is folded in half and it is going to be a blanket this way because no matter how hard I try, seems like I always make my blankets to go long ways this way instead of this way so this one also is going to go this way I need to figure that I need to stop doing that because like I said I'm tired of I love her stitches though but I'm just I'm getting tired of doing rectangles and squares so so that is all I have for this week I do want to give you an update though because in my last video I did ask for advice or suggestions for patterns for um for a um crocheted oh what the oh I know what I'm trying to say for the um, a crochet case, but I've looked at all of your suggestions and I found none of them that really intrigued me. 
So, my mom asked me the other day what I wanted for Easter. Because, as you guys know, I'm big. I don't need candy. Even though I do have a big sweet tooth. So, she asked me if what I wanted for Easter. And I said, well, I'm trying to figure out a crochet case for my crochet hooks because none of the ones that I have found are really interested to me. So I got on, well, first I got on Wish and they were like $12, $13, but then you go to the shipping and the shipping was like eight, $9. So that right there would have been 12, 13. So that would have been like 21, 22 dollars, I think. I'm terrible at math. So then I went on Amazon. And so I was looking on Amazon and I found one that I really, 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 really like. It has lots of pockets, it has a lot of things. So let's see. So this. Maybe I better do it this way. Yeah. So this is the case that I got blown up. Oh, there. Nope. So this is the case I got. Right there. See, it has two places for hooks or three places for hooks and three little zipper compartments. Then they asked what pattern I wanted. And they had like cartoon cats, ca cartoon dogs, elephants, owls, and none of them, none of the pattern really, and they had a bohemian one too, which I don't even know what bohemian is, but anyway, it was really pretty, but it just wasn't my kind of taste. So I got this one. So I got that one. It's the painted one. And I think it's really pretty. So I got that one. Because, and it's like a trifold, it's like a trifold, it folds up like that. So, I'm really excited, I'm really waiting to get that. It should, says it should be here Monday, but it says that it's in Pittsburgh right now. Here I can tell you all the colors they had. See, okay, they had Animal World, Bohemian. Cartoon cats, cartoon dogs, coffee owls, elegant cats, elephants, elk, green owls, painting, and plum flowers. So I got the painting one, and it was eleven ninety nine. And I asked, I told my mom what the price was, and with the shipping and stuff, it came to like eighteen sixty six, which is the cheapest that I could find anywhere. So, that's supposed to be coming Monday, because the case I am using now, it's not working like I want it to, and I got it, you know, for the time being, but it didn't have, like, it was just, when I want to find a hook, I have to root, I have to pull all of my hooks out, and it's just not working. So, and my mom also ordered some... Um, some more number beads because I found out that I use, I am using my six and a half millimeter more than I've used any of my other hooks other than my H and it's just, and I have a couple of them, I actually have two right here. Well, one's a five and a half, and one's a six and a half, along with two regular stitch markers, because I finished the project over here and just laid them there, so. I'm drinking a graveyard, which is Mountain Dew and Pepsi. Yeah, I know I shouldn't be drinking it this late, but. But I'm good. Um. So I think that's going to be all for now. I'm actually thinking about doing a crochet with me video also tonight because it is only 9.33 and it's the 24th of March and I want to look real quick because wow that went up quick 
so I do want to say I am so close to 200 or 300 subscribers. I am finally now at 259. I just checked like two seconds ago. And I am so happy that I'm getting close to 3,000. I don't think I'll have a um, giveaway because I don't really know what I can give away. So, um, so yeah, I don't think I'll do giveaways. I just, I mean, I know that's probably rude and selfish, but everything I make, I give donate, and I'm not working, so I don't have money to, you know, like, give to people, but... So, I'm sorry if that seems rude. Whoops. But, I think I'm going to let you guys go now. And, I will talk to you guys here in the next couple minutes again. So, bye!